Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Now before we get to the core of what this episode is all about, I want us to fix a certain mistake we made in one of the previous episodes. Now if you click on the manage post menu item and click on the edit post of a particular post and then on this edit form if you click on update post button the form doesn't get submitted and no error messages are being displayed so this is the first error the first mistake we made we are not displaying errors form errors on the edit post page so let's fix that right now we go to our code base and uh, since this is the admin page the edit page in the admin section we will open the admin folder and then the post folder and then the edit.php file so this is our form and we expect to see errors somewhere under the edit post title now we already have a an include file that is handling all the display of errors for our form and uh, we are using we are using that in our edit.php form for the topics so this is it just under the edit topic title we have an include statement that includes a form errors file which is responsible for displaying all errors on our forms in this application so we are just going to copy this line close this topics edit file and then we paste that include just underneath the edit post title we save this and go back to our form let's select an image to update our post okay and then we click on update post and now our error message is being displayed so we have put the first issue out of we have addressed the first issue now the second issue is this error is not supposed to to occur in the first place we just clicked on edit button for our post and we edited the image and clicked on the update post button and it is telling us that a post with this title already exists now this issue occurred because since we did not change this title our application went to the database to to fetch the type to fetch the post that it wants to update and as it happens that post also has the same title as the one that is coming from this form so our validation compares it and sees that a post already exists with this title and so it gives us this error so we need to modify our validation a bit in order to address this issue now let's take another look at our code base if we open to our controllers file for the post you're going to see that here we are adding a new post to the database and before we do that we invoke the validate post function to validate our post down here also when we are updating the post we also invoke that same validate post function and it validates our post before we create it now let us take a look at this validate post function we defined it inside our helpers folder in a file called validatepost.php so when you are creating a post it checks and makes sure these fields are present and then it goes to the database and fetches a post using the title of that post and if that post exists then it's going to say a post already exists with that title now when you are updating a post things are a little bit different if you don't update the title then this statement here is going to fetch that post that you are currently updating because you didn't change the title so the title remains the same as it is in the database so this line will go and fetch that particular post that you are updating and so the post will exist and this if statement will return true and you will get this error so 
when we are updating we don't want this we want the user to be able to update a post without uh, being forced to update the title so what we are going to do is when this statement returns a post from the database we are going to check if the user was updating the post or if they were adding a post to the database and we can do that by calling on the update post key checking the update post key in the post variable remember this super global variable is coming from the form and the form has a a button that has a name so when we are passing this to our validate function even that button will be accessible here so that is why we are able to know if the user is attempting to update or to or to create so let's just wrap this around an insert function okay so we check if the user is updating and then we also check if the post that they find in the database is not the post that they are trying to update so we want to ensure that the post that exists in the database is not the same post if that is the case then we are going to tell them that they have changed the title of the name into a title that already exists okay so i hope this is clear enough it if you need more explanation, don't hesitate to leave a comment below and I'll expantiate. So the other thing, so this is for when the user is updating a post. If you want to check if the user is creating a post, you will also just uh, check if the post, if the add post key exists in our post variable and if it exists and the existing project sorry the existing post is set then it means that the user is trying to create a post with the title that already exists so i'm just going to go through this one last time so we fetch a post from the database using the title and if it exists here if it exists then there is probably going to be an error so you will check if the user was trying to update so if this is true it means yes they were trying to update now we check if the existing at a post that is coming from the database is not the article that they were trying to update so if it is not the article or the post they were trying to update it means that in the process of editing that post they actually changed the title into a title that already exists so we set an error message an error message if they were only creating a post then we will just we will just also add the error message so let's save this go back to our form and uh, let's go back to let's refresh so that it fetches new values we select an image and then without changing the post title let's just edit just the body and we click submit and it updates our post now even when we haven't changed the title so this is working well now okay <clears throat> so let's do the same thing for topics right now if you want to edit this topic for example you change only the body and you click update topic it's going to say name already exists and this is the same mistake that we just solved here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this and go to the validate topic or uh, file and inside this validate topic this validate topic function i will just comment out the section that validates if a name already exists and then I paste this now I'm going to advise that you take you take your time on this section because it's very likely to make it's very easy to make an a mistake here 
okay so i select existing post and i rename it to existing topic because we are in the validate topic function and then now we are selecting from the topics table so our select one function will have the name topics which is the name of the topics table in the database and we are trying to fetch by name so i'll change this first i'm going to change the data that i'm sending to the select one function to be the name so we select a topic by the name that the user is trying to create and we check if the user is updating topic now this update topic is the name of the button on the edit topic form so i'm going to open the topics folder on the edit.php file and the name of that button is called update topic so back in our validate topic function we are just going to replace update post with update topic this one remains the same and then we'll just change the topic or uh, the error message to name already exists and here it will be the normal at topic i hope the name was at topic let me just verify so back again the topics folder the create.php the button is called at topic oops okay it's at topic so i am right here so i will also change the message and save having replaced this part i'll just take it out and if you go again on our manage topics page and click on a particular topic and update it works now okay so there is one last place we need to change this and that is in the create user in the validate user function okay so in validate user function the element the attribute that we are checking for uniqueness is the email so i'm going to do it the same way i did in the topic file i'm going to oops i'm going to copy this and then i paste it underneath what i just commented and here we are going to be selecting from the users table and we are going to select in the email field so instead of existing topic we are going to call this existing user so if a user already exists we will check if we were trying to update the user and we can verify the name of this key by opening the edit user file inside the users uh, folder so we called it update user and for the create we called it create admin so it is create admin and update user so when you are updating a user we just call it update user this part again remains the same and here we will just say email already exists then for the create we'll just say create admin because that is what is on the ad admin form and we're just going to say email already exists and uh, like i warned earlier this this replacing is very prone to mistakes i just spotted a mistake i made we are passing user in the parameter here and here we are still using post so we need to change this to user okay so if we go back click on users to edit a user if we update only the passwords and leave the email unchanged it still updates that user and if you want you can change the email as well and it will still work so thank you guys for your support so far and uh, let's move on let's continue